Okay, guys, so today I went on to this website here, answerthepublic.com. And from here, you can type any keywords you want, and you will get a nice list, a big suggestion of different topics that you can cover. So basically, I just typed in WooCommerce how to. Okay, so I just run the search, and this is what came up. So basically, you have the first questions could be what, how, and why. So you could have if it's how, how WooCommerce works, and why WooCommerce. So that's not really a question that we can uh, really answer. So let's keep scrolling down. And as you can see, we have four without, near, to, etc. So if you select four here, you see we have how to use WooCommerce for free, how to use WooCommerce for Amazon affiliate, how to use WooCommerce for dropshipping, and so on and so on. Now, one that stood out for me, if we scroll down again, we have like, as you can see, this one here. And this one is how to make WooCommerce check out like Shopify. And I think I'm going to answer this one today because it's a very big issue with uh, WooCommerce. We have to admit that the checkout page is a bit dated. So I'm going to show you now and I'm going to answer that question. How we can create a WooCommerce checkout page just like Shopify and increase the conversion rate. Okay, so let's do this now. Okay, so I installed a demo website here. So let's add something to the shopping cart. So maybe this one here. Let's add to cart. View cart now. There you go. Let's go to checkout. So this is basically the default classic layout that comes with WooCommerce. So as you can see, you have all the billing details on one side, your order summary here, and then payment methods. And then we can place our order. And then right at the bottom here, we have our email address at the very end of this form, which if you think of it, doesn't make much sense, doesn't it? So let's change this to something a bit more user-friendly, more similar to Shopify. So for this, we go back to our WordPress dashboard. And we're going to go into plugins and then add new. And in the search box, type in Woo Lantern like this. And that's our very first one here from Has Themes. And we're going to install this and then activate. And from here, we're going to go into modules. And as you can see, we have Shopify style checkout. So click on that small cog here for the settings. And on top, we have enable, disable. As you can see, we have a toggle switch. Just enable this, save changes. Okay, now let's go back to our WooCommerce checkout page and let's refresh. And boom, just like that, as you can see, we have a much more user-friendly checkout page that looks a lot more like Shopify. As you can see, the first bit of information they're gonna ask you is your email address, which is much more logical when you think of it. Just a few bits of information for your delivery. And then here is the quick overview of your order. And as you can see, you can quickly enter coupon code and all that. And again, the less stumbling blocks, the easier it's going to be for your visitors to actually go through the checkout process and place an order. So now let me show you a second method. And for this, we go back to our WordPress dashboard. So I deactivated WooLenter for now, and we're going to add a new one. So add new. And here in the search box, you're going to type in WooCommerce blocks. And that's the very first one here by automatic. Okay, so let's install this and then activate. And this one is slightly different. It's gonna give you a little bit more control over the finished product and the results as well. And for this one, you're gonna go into pages and you're gonna locate your checkout page. So when you install WooCommerce, it's gonna create a few pages. You have cart, checkout, uh, my account and shop. So this is the one that we need. So click on edit. And by default, the checkout page is made out of just one short code, which is this one, WooCommerce checkout. So now we're gonna delete this. So click on it. Go into this and then remove. And now we're going to add a new block. So click on the plus sign here and scroll down right at the bottom into the WooCommerce options. And then with this one here that says checkout. So grab this, paste it there. And already it looks about the same as you can see here. The first bit of information that we ask for is the email address, followed by the shipping address, and then the shipping option and payment option. Okay. And this is the, the review of our order, the order summary by the side. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a few different fields and blocks. So if you click on this one, as you can see, this one is the contact information. So there's nothing we can change here. That's just basically it. They're going to ask for your email address. If you go on the shipping address here, as you can see, there's a few different options. You can disable any of these. So you can disable apartment, suite, etc., and even disable the phone number altogether. And now, as you can see, we have a very sleek uh, form, which is more streamlined and much easier to fill out 
for your visitors. So again, the less tumbling blocks, the better. Now, if you're dealing with B2B, you might want to ask for the company name. Again, this is optional, so they don't have to fill it out. And perhaps your courier company requires the phone number. Maybe you want to add this as well, but you can make it mandatory as well. As you can see now, they have to enter their phone numbers and you can do the same with any of those fields. So as you can see now, this is our new checkout page. So let's click update. And now let's go back to our front end. So this is the one we had with Wool Enter. So let's refresh. Again, as you can see, the first bit of information we asked uh, to fill out is our email address, a few uh, details about the address and the payment option. And as you can see, again, this is a much more streamlined uh, checkout page compared to the one that comes by default with WooCommerce. So there you go, guys. That's very simple, isn't it? Two different methods, how to do it. Now, let me know if you like this format, uh, if you like the type of information provided. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment section below. If you want me to answer more questions like these, uh, make maybe shorter videos, uh, just five, 10 minutes and just answer a quick question uh, that most of you would have on their minds. Okay, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.